as you go through the day, try to have some respect for your concentration. We hear so much about being mindful throughout the day. But you have to remember the purpose of right mindfulness is to get the mind concentrated. You're not just here watching things coming and going. You're trying to keep a certain frame of reference in mind. It could be the body, your feelings, your mind states, the qualities that are needed to bring the mind into concentration. Keep it away from its defilements, keep it away from distractions. There's going to be a purpose to your mindfulness. And the purpose is to give the mind a grounding. The Buddha gives the image of a stake to which you tie the different animals. If you tie them to leashes and then tie the leashes together, but don't have a stake, then they pull one another here and pull them there. And usually whatever the strongest animal is, it pull all the other ones to where it wants to go. In his image, you've got a crocodile, which apparently is going to be stronger than the other animals. It's going to pull them all down into the, into the river where they drown. What you need is a good post, a good stake. That's what your mindfulness of the body is. So notice that image. It's a solid place. It's a place that doesn't move. So try to have that sense of a solid center inside. Make that your focal point as you go through the day. And you'll be dealing with other issues, of course. You'll be working things, with things. But still, when you work with things, you can still have a sense of where your body is. What's the center point in your body as you cook, as you work in the orchard, as you drive around, and whatever you need to do. You can do it a lot more efficiently when you're centered. Some people are afraid that's just one more thing they have to think about, but actually it's the point where you stay, where you stand. That's your foundation. And based on a good, solid foundation, you can juggle as many balls as you want. But make sure your foundation is strong and you carry it through all your activities as best you can. As John Fuang would say, trying to make your practice timeless. Instead of having a time to eat, and then a time to meditate, and then a time to do something else, it's all time to practice, all time to train the mind. And having this physical sense of a center, where the breath feels good coming in, feels good going out, that makes it a lot easier for you to maintain a sense of well-being as you go through the day. So you're not only mindful, but you're also concentrated. Because remember, concentrated mind doesn't have to be totally blocked out of everything except one point of awareness. There's a center, but you can have as broad a range as you want. Filling the whole body, you want to have goodwill for the universe, okay, goodwill for everybody, no limits at all. But make sure there's a sense of center in the midst of that whole universe, a sense of a center in the midst of the body. Now we've got your safe foundation. The animals can't pull you off to where you're going to drown. <laughs>